These roses are going to be used to create a very large display bowl arrangement, suitable for a service or a reception or in a home. This will be particularly large. The rose dripper has been applied to clean away any excess leaves or thorns. Any imperfect petals are removed. And we need to look at the sizes of the flowers. The container is quite large and holds a full brick of foam. You can take the foam sideways or face it towards you. Always make sure that the writing is facing up to the top of the foam. For soaking purposes, the foam would be placed perhaps into a bucket or larger container and allowed to sit until it completely absorbs with water and the top of the foam is level with the water level. Then it's time to place it in your container ready to use. This is Petostrum that I'm using, placing this in a very traditional manner forming an elongated A-shaped design. This is particularly good for a traditional situation like a church or a synagogue, a very traditional type building. The outline of the arrangement is automatically forming a stepping formation from the centre peak down to the outer edges. This is a light delicate foliage. If you had tall flowers like delphinium, larkspur, gladioli, they could actually be placed in a similar manner. You could even go higher than the foliage. And this would give a very strong outline to a large arrangement. Probably you would try not to cut stems so that you had the maximum sizing. Now the petostrum is being used at the base, a different variety. This has more body, more texture in strength and this is being used as a filling medium right at the very base of the arrangement. So you have strength at the base and lightness towards the top and the edges. A stepping placement coming forward is being used with the petostrum and angled slightly downwards towards the front. So you're creating an inner shape through the outer shape. Turning the bowl to the side, you can see the dimension and the steps and the full outline of the design. There's your outline shape. Now the roses need to be extremely long, particularly the first few roses that are going to give the height to this design. If for some reason you can't obtain that extra height, you could use a water vial insert the stem and perhaps then attach to a piece of green bamboo. This is one way of gaining extra height. Quite an old-fashioned method is to insert into the centre of a gladioli stem. And believe it or not, the moisture still transposes to the flower that has been inserted. So an old method, but still quite a good one. The roses are being placed in a dimensional pattern, one forward of the other and we are creating the start of a focal line. Third flower in place. They're not directly in alignment when you look from the front. They have what is known as a rhythm line. The sizes of the flowers are important. These are fairly general in size. If there was a marked difference, you'd work from smaller down to larger. And as you extended forward or to the sides, you'd work back to smaller. And my hand has just indicated a rhythm line, that movement. A little bit like the movement of a snake. It's not a straight line, it has a movement to it. We continue stepping forward as we work down the focal line. If you wanted a focal line to stand out really strongly, you'd use a darker colour and use the lighter colours each side. This would be extremely bold if you did this. There's your rhythm line. Very nice stepping. So the straight line is very severe. That staggered line is much softer, yet still very dramatic.
working towards the sides, furthest extensions, we're then able to gain where we need to place from the top flower to the base. So working onto the other side, and now we're going to start that fill in between. This is a good method of construction because it gives you a clear visual path. From one side to the other, one rose is slightly higher than the other side, which gives an asymmetrical pattern to the design. See the building out of the outer shape, lifting that one up a little so that it's in between. So we've got nice even steps down both sides of the arrangement. There's your front view. Do the sides have to be level? No, they don't. On an asymmetrical design, one side is usually slightly higher than the other. We're now going into that filling side section. Each flower will step slightly further back in layers from the focal line. So we're really meeting the focal line to the back of the arrangement. You can see the steps of dimension. There is space between every rose. This is extremely important. The amount of space determines how much weight there is in the design. If you have two or three flowers clustered together in a large space, you will throw the visual balance. You can see from my size how large this arrangement is. These are Lysianthus. These actually originate from Texas and New Mexico. Therefore they are used to a hotter climate. They were developed in Japan into a more commercial flower and they're absolutely beautiful. A very popular flower. The texture of the Lysianthus and the texture of the roses blends extremely well together. So you have a soft cream blending into a rose that offers a mild apricot cream blend. You have the cream in the petostrum, so the colour range is working extremely well. Even the different textures in the greens, to the lime greens from the cream to the deeper rose leaves, works extremely well. There's your stepping. So the Lysianthus are working into the same pattern established by the roses. The highest placement of the Lysianthus is towards the centre line, but like the inner petostrum, where you had one layer, one placement within a larger placement, we're basically repeating this with the Lysianthus placement. Widest Lysianthus extending out to the sides, and it would be quite nice to bring them forward as well, which I'm doing at this time. This helps to flow the design forward, particularly if it's placed on a pedestal or sitting on a mantle. It just gives a very nice flow to that placement. You can see with that close-up how well those textures are working together. When we use texture and space, they're two of the elements of design. Very important. Colour is of course a third element which we've used here to great advantage. Form is the fourth element and that refers to the shapes of the foliage and flowers and how they work together. And we've used design principles such as rhythm. We've used line, scale, proportion, good dimension. When we talk about scale and proportion we're looking at the scale of the flowers as to how they relate together. If you had different sizes where one was far more dominant than another, then the scale may need attention. So you might have to put smaller flowers together closer with less space to create a balance. With the proportion of this design, 
It depends very much on where this is going to be positioned. Is the design in proportion with its surroundings? Turning this design, you can see that very strong dimension. The use of space is extremely important in this design. We've maximised the placement of every flower. This is final finish. Leave enough space so that you can see the water level, but you need to camouflage the foam for a nice neat finish. This type of container is very traditional and therefore lends itself to this style of design. As mentioned earlier, you could build out with a strong outline of flowers. Delphinium in the creams would look magnificent as a total surround. Look for delphinium that's STS treated, that's silver theosulfate, because it gives resilience against ethylene gas and the delphinium will not drop, lasts approximately three weeks to long laster. Final spray, check over any placements, final look, and you have a display bowl arrangement, very suited for a wedding or any major function, with magnificent quality blooms and a classic design. For a wedding, it would also be possible, if this design was being placed on a pedestal, to have long ribbon trails being inserted at the base of the container, or you could also flow fern like asparagus plumosus in a cascading manner down the front, flowing in front of the pedestal. One last final check over the arrangement. And there's the completed design.